So welcome back Drifters. So I've been hiding a dirty little secret and that's that I actually managed to get some weights from a place called Fringe Sport. It took a little while to get it and I've had them for a while. I just haven't taken them out because I've enjoyed using my concrete weights. Those things have worked great for as long as I've had them and I'm still going to use them but I just needed more weight. These guys happen to have some available and I decided to drop a pretty penny on them. Even though hindsight being 2020, I probably should have just waited. But it's no longer 2020, so we're good to go. 2021, baby. All right, let's get these suckers open. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Here we go, let's see what these are. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot I got these. Holy cow, these are the nice looking ones. Look at that. That's fancy. These are only 10 pounds, so I gotta be careful with these. Those things are prone to breaking. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. That's a pretty color right there. The color is completely unnecessary, but uh, yeah, that's 25 pounds. Ooh, fancy. Shoop. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Get over here, you. Oh, wow. These ones are a little bit heavier. What is this? Oh, nice. That's pretty. Nice yellow one. How much is this? 35 pounds. Nice. Woohoo. Ooh, nice. Woohoo. This is one of the good ones. All right, what do we got here? This one's a 45. What color do we got on the 45? What do we got? Oh, that's blue. I love blue. That's good, this is a good one. We're gonna definitely be using that a lot. Ooh, nice. Oh, those are cool looking. These are 15 pounds. Those are really nice. I like the look of that. All right, and now for the last one. Nice. That's a good set right there. So obviously I didn't need to get the fancy colored ones, but you gotta remember when I ordered these, it was 2020 and it was like impossible to get anything and I was just desperate. The irony was that by the time I had ordered these, I already made the concrete weights and those things worked great. So I never really needed them necessarily, but now I have them. So I figured I may as well use them. I can increase the weight that I'm using on my bar now. And yeah, so I figured best thing to do is put this thing to the test. So I figured let's do a little bit of a leg workout and see how it goes. Let's do it. I do gotta say these things are beautiful. that's the upper limit of where I'm at when it comes to front squats but I have to say I'm happy with these weights they feel really good I mean it's it's weight there's only so much you can do with weight but uh feels good knowing I still have an extra 45 pounds on each side in reserve I can't even do that on a front squat yet really just because my knees by the way thank you whoever it was that suggested knee sleeves these things are awesome so uh I've been using it every time I go to do uh, some lunges and uh, squats and anything pressing leg related. So, thank you. Man, why would you do this when we could just go for a walk? This just seems like a waste of time. I'm so bored. Oh, yep. Okie dokie. Still alive. Whoo, we call that a win. So, uh, not much else I can say about these weights, but... Whew, feels good to do these squats. I gotta cool off, because it is hot in here whoo let's face it i ain't gonna be breaking any records with these injuries i got i mean i'm in a damn sure just try to stay in the best shape that i can and hell if i can build a little muscle along the way i'll be happy but ultimately i'm searching for the pump not the weight but so this should be plenty of weight for what i need i mean let's be real we ain't breaking any powerlifting records over here okay my joints would just fall apart if I tried that. I used to be able to do that back before all my injuries, but now I'm just thankful that I can even do lunges because realistically, there was a time when I couldn't and now I can, even if it is only, you know, what, 25 pounds on each side? Hell, that's better than nothing. 
sometimes it's good just to get the body moving. You know, hell, even the shittiest workout is better than a night spent on the couch. Now y'all know we can't finish a leg workout without the best workout of them all, the fuck ups. Cause I'm telling you, if there's one muscle you wanna train, it's these ones. Oh yeah. Woo! So I got a question for you, because there's something that's been bothering me, but I need to know if you've seen it. If you did, pause the video, comment down below if you can tell it what I'm talking about. Now, if you didn't pause the video and you're gonna keep watching, I'm gonna tell you the thing that's bothering me right now is the fact that $1,500 worth of camera equipment got destroyed in my last video. Well, it may have not have been the last video, but one recently. And uh, I've been really struggling with the idea of what to do about camera equipment, because I don't know if you could tell or not, but this entire video was filmed on a GoPro. Uh, and my obvious mic down here. Hello. Uh, <laughs> because I lost my microphone, I lost my camera, I lost literally everything that I've been using for the last four years. And uh, it's really, really been bothering me because all I wanna do is film good videos and I wanna make good quality stuff but I've been questioning whether or not the quality of the video is even that important. Because is that even really the reason everybody tunes in? I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you why anybody watches my videos. I try to make good stuff, but you know, I, so I just don't know if it's worth upgrading the equipment, trying to go back to where I was or even better than where I was, or if I just make do with what I have. I mean, for right now, obviously we're gonna have to do that, but you know, this could really impact the build with the Mustang because you know, I've been saving so that way I could actually put money into that car, but with everything that's been happening between the LS engine, my camera equipment, I may not be able to finish the Mustang. It, it just may not be a thing. I, I mean, I've just got way too many projects right now and I may be looking at dialing it back. So let me know down in the comments. I hate, I hate giving up on projects, but sometimes things come up that are just super expensive and they're not planned. And it's just one of those things that I may end up doing but I don't know, it's, it's really been bothering me and I'm really curious to know what you, the subscribers, think about this situation, what you think about, you know, potentially moving forward. I don't, you know, I wanna make the content that y'all wanna see. I don't wanna just make boring fitness videos where I sit here doing leg extensions, you know? But uh, I wanna keep things as real as I can with you guys because this is something that's really been bothering me because it's really important to me to put out really good content and I wanna make the best that I possibly can, but I think that I can make do with basic equipment because it's more about what you do with the camera than how good the camera is. And I feel like I have the potential, but I wanna make sure that you guys understand like where I'm coming from with this struggle because it's something that's really been weighing on my head because you know, I'm looking at potentially investing in a really nice camera, but it's just, man, it just, it would take away from the builds. It would take away from everything else that we're doing. And uh, I just don't know if it's worth that exchange or not. So. Yeah, that's just where my head's at. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the end of the workout. Uh, if you guys did like my ingenious leg extension or these new weights that mean absolutely nothing, you know, hit that like button and subscribe. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna be here, hopefully here pretty soon. We're gonna be working on rebuilding that LS3. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna move forward. So hope you all have a great day and I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Have a good one.